Good morning. Time for preschool again. So I'm so glad you guys decided to watch this today. And today will be a little bit quicker because we don't have to describe what we're doing. So we're gonna get right to it, okay? We're gonna start with our Pledge of Allegiance. So get your right hand, hold your hand out, make sure your thumb is pointing this way. That's your right hand. And you're gonna put it here on your heart. And we're gonna look at our flag and do our Pledge of Allegiance. Are you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our calendar for today. So today is the 18th. It is March 18th. Okay, let's count up to 18. Are you ready? Nice and loud. I want your mommies to hear you counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Good job. Now, if we look at this column right here up at the top, can you guys tell from way back there what today is? I'll give you a hint. It is miércoles in Espanol, which is Wednesday. Good job. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Are you ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Good job. Okay. Now let's review our information for the week. Does anybody remember what our shape is? I'll give you a hint. It looks like this. What is this called? Triangle, right? This is a triangle. Good job. All right. This is our number of the week. Who knows what this is? 17. Good job. A one and a seven put together make 17. Good job. Okay. And what is our color of the week? Green. Good job. Now who remembers green in sign language? Make a G. Looks like this. Make a G and do that. Green. Good. Okay. And who can remember our letters? This week we have three different letters this week. Let's see if you guys can remember them and recognize them by their lowercase. What is this letter? Do you know? If you can't remember it, this is what the capital looks like. It is the letter A. And what does the A say? A. Ah. Good job. Let's sing our song. The A says, the A says, every letter makes a sound. The A says, good. Did you say A ah when I was singing? Good job. Okay, let's move to our next letter. Who remembers what this letter is? You guys see that? What is that letter right there? Is my fingers covering it? There you go. This is the letter B, like ball, B, B. The B says B, the B says Every letter makes a sound, the B says <laughs> Good job. Okay, that's the letter B, the lowercase B. All right, now this one's pretty easy because it looks just like his capital. What is this one? This is the letter C. Good. And what sound does the C make? K -k -k -k. Yep, like cat. So let's do our song. The C says, K -k -k. 
The C says, every letter makes a sound. The C says, good job. All right. Okay, and for those of you in the afternoon class, these are our sight words for the week, okay? Who can remember what this word is? This is the word does. It starts with a D, so it's d, d, does. You can't sound it out because it's one of those we have to memorize. That one is does. What is this word? That is the word to. I am going to go to the store. To. Good. Okay, and then our last one. Well, there we go. What is this word? This is the word come. Come with me to the store. Come. C O M E. Come. Good job. We're going to keep reviewing these all week, okay? All right. Now, we are going to do our thumbkin song. Because remember, this week we're learning about our body parts. So today we're going to sing our finger song, okay? You guys ready? Hmm. Should we start with just regular thumb? I'll get a little bit closer. Okay, ready? Here we go. Get your hands ready. Where is Thumbkin? Where is Thumbkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Okay, now which one should we do? I bet you guys are saying... Yeah, I bet you guys are saying princess. Are you ready? Where's Princess Pinky? Where's Princess Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I think you run away, run away. Okay, should we do cowboy? Cowboy pointer finger? Okay, here we go, ready? Where's Cowboy Pointer? Where's Cowboy Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, thank you. Run away, run away. All right, let's see. What's another one you guys always like to do? I know you guys like to do the loud one. Should we do Where is Loud? Let's do loud pointer. Okay, ready? Really loud. Okay, warn your mommies that it's gonna be loud. Okay, here we go. Where's loud pointer? Where's loud pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Whoa, that was so loud. Okay, now we're gonna do Ready? Okay. Now I think we forgot to do robot. Should we do robot? Uh, let's do robot thumb. Okay, here we go. Where's Robot Thumpkin? Where's Robot Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Good job. Okay, so that helped you memorize your, th your fingers. Thumb, pointer, pinky. And then this one is ring finger, but he's kind of hard to sing with. And then this one is middle. So we have Thumb, pointer, middle, ring, and pinky. Those are all your different names for your fingers. Good job, guys. Okay, so we are going to learn three new sign language words today, okay? Since our letters for this week 
are A, B, and C, I thought we would learn a letter, we would learn a word that goes with each of those letters, okay? So the first word we're gonna learn today goes with the letter A, which says A, ah, and the word is apple, okay? So if you're going to say apple in sign language, you're gonna make your finger kinda like the letter X, you're gonna do this, and then you're gonna put it right here by your cheek and you're gonna twist. Apple, okay? Make the X like this, apple. Good job. Okay, the next one is for the letter B, which says B. So I chose the word ball, and ball is really easy. You just take your two fingers and put them together. Ball, just like you're holding a ball, ball. Good job. Okay, the last one is going to be for the letter C, which says K. So I chose the word cat. And to do the cat, it's really easy in, in sign language, you're going to keep your fingers up like this, and then you're just going to grab the whiskers of the kitty and do this. Cat. K -k cat. Good job. So we have apple, ball, cat. Good job. Okay, now it's time to do our worksheet. So go to your folder and open it up. And the first one is going to be one that we have done lots of worksheets like this, so you guys know exactly what to do on this one. Our color of the week is green, so this crayon right here is a green crayon. You're going to color this green, and then you're going to look through all these, and you're going to find the things that are green, that are supposed to be green, and you're going to color them. Okay, this is a zebra. Is a zebra green? No. This is a leaf. Is a leaf green? Yes, good. What about a frog? Is a frog green? Yes. Okay, and this guy is a deer. What about a deer? Is a deer green? No. Okay, what about a grasshopper? Is he green? Yes. And what about a tree? Are trees green? Yes. Good, so those are the things you're gonna color green. If you want to color the deer and the zebra, you can color those as well, but just don't color them green, okay? Don't forget your name at the top. Okay, the next worksheet we're gonna do is going to be a matching worksheet. We're gonna match the rhyming words. So you're gonna look at the pictures here on the left, and you're gonna draw a line from one of the ones here on the left over to one of the ones over here on the right, if they rhyme. So we're still practicing rhyming words. So this first one here is a frog. This is a car, a dish, and a sled. And over here we have fish, dog, bed, and star. Okay, so let me just help you with this first one here so you aren't confused. This is a frog. Which of these words over here rhyme with frog? Frog, fish, does that rhyme? No. How about frog, dog? <gasps> frog, dog, does that rhyme? Yeah, it sure does. So we're going to draw a line with your pencil from frog to dog. Okay, and then you're gonna keep going. Car, what rhymes with car over here? You'll draw a line. What rhymes with dish? Draw a line over to the thing over here. Same with sled. Whatever rhymes with sled, draw a line over to the rhyming word, okay? And don't forget, you need to put your name at the top. Keep practicing writing your name. Good job. Okay, the next one is going to be another rhyming page. So find the one that looks like this. And you're gonna say the name of the item over here on the left, and you're gonna uh, color or circle the picture in here that rhymes with it, okay? So what is this? This is a square. So now you're gonna look at these and say, square sun, square sun. Do they rhyme? No. What about square foot? Square foot, do they rhyme? No. What, this one right here is funny, but this is hair. So what about square hair, square, Hair. Do they rhyme? 
They do. So you're gonna color your square and you're gonna color the hair. Good job, and then keep going. This is a star. You have eye, jar, and tree. So eye, jar, and tree, which one rhymes with star? Same with this one, moon. Which one rhymes with moon? Hat, mouth, or spoon, okay? Finish up that worksheet, and again, don't forget to put your name at the top. Okay, this week for our scripture, we're gonna learn about Nephi from the Book of Mormon. And Nephi was a very brave son of Lehi. He was brave and he was strong and he was very obedient. And he did what Heavenly Father asked him to do. And he did what his dad Lehi told him to do. So this is a poem and it's a very good poem that helps you understand some of the stories in the Book of Mormon. So let me read you this poem. It says, Nephi followed God's commands. He tried to do what's right. He read the scriptures, searched and prayed. In this he did delight. He went back to Jerusalem and got the plates of brass. He built a ship with God's own plans. The ocean they did pass. They made it to the promised land with all their families. Together they gave thanks to God, praying on bended knees. So that is a story or a poem about how Nephi with the help of Heavenly Father, left Jerusalem on a boat that he built and came over here to America. And that is how we got those people over here in America. So when Columbus came to America, there were already people here and that's how they got here. Okay, and it's important to know that because Nephi was so brave and so obedient, he was able to help Heavenly Father in a way that wouldn't have happened if he wouldn't have listened and obeyed. So he was a really good, good son. Okay, your craft for this today is going to be this little boat. And this is the boat that Nephi built to cross across the big ocean to get his family over here to America, to the promised land. So first, you're gonna take this and you're gonna color it. Okay, you're just gonna color it really pretty and make sure you stay in the lines. Okay, once you have your paper colored just how you like it, then you're gonna find some scissors, ask your mom or dad to help you find some scissors that you can use, and you're gonna cut these dotted lines. See these lines that go around? They go around like this. They're kinda of hard to see, but you gotta cut all of these lines, okay? Cut, 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 right on the lines. You gotta stay on the lines. Cut every single one of those lines. Okay, once you have cut all of those lines, then you have a fun puzzle that you get to try to put together. So you gotta rebuild the boat and figure out how these pieces all go together to make your boat, okay? You're gonna to try to figure out, hmm, where do these pieces go to make my boat? What is that guy? Does he go there? Maybe. What is this guy? It's got a cloud in it, so I think he's gonna go up here. And then we have this last piece here. I think that one goes right there. What do you think? Did I rebuild my boat? Ta-da! Okay, that's what you guys can do. And then you can have your brothers and sisters put the puzzle together, or you can have mommy and daddy put the puzzle together. And then as you're putting the puzzle together, you can tell them the story about how Nephi built a boat and went across the big, big ocean. Okay, now we're gonna play a fun game where everybody has to stand up. Okay, you have to stand because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read you a list of words and they're all gonna rhyme and then when I get to the word that doesn't rhyme, you have to sit down, okay? So everybody stand up and listen. Here we go. She, tree, flee, spree, key, be, see, went. That one didn't rhyme, so you have to sit down. Do you see how it works? Okay, let's do it.
do it again. We're going to do another list of words. Everybody stand up. Okay, here we go. Mat, rat, pat, cat, sat, fat, dish. Did you hear how the word dish did not rhyme with fat? Good. Okay, stand back up. Here we go. Can, man, pan, ran, dan, fan, van, ape. Good. Good job. You did it. Okay, back up. Here we go. Listen carefully. Shoe, glue, new, two, few, do, blue, chew, book. Did you see it? Good job. All right, back up. All right, ready? Sit, fit, lit, mouse. That one didn't rhyme. Good. Okay. Back up. Phone, bone, tone, win. Good. Are you getting the hang of it? Do you hear how the words rhyme? They sound similar at the end, but the last one does not. Okay, here we go. Dime, rhyme, time. Lime, dog. Good, dog did not rhyme. Okay, ready? Book, look, took, hook, cook, bag. Good, did you sit down? Okay, back up. Here we go. Car. Star, bar, far, tree. Good. Tree does not rhyme with bar or car. Good job. Okay, back up. Okay, one more. Here we go. Listen to the words. Red, said, head, bed, led. Ned, fed, Ted, wed, grass. Good. Grass did not rhyme with Ned, led, Ted. Good job. Do you hear how those rhyming words work? Okay. Now it's time for a story. This is called, ooh, this is called Rhyming Dust Bunnies. Are you ready? Rhyming Dust Bunnies by Jan Thomas. These are your dust bunnies. You ready? Hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. Hey, what rhymes with car? Far, jar, tar, look. Uh, no, Bob, look does not rhyme with car. What rhymes with bug? Rug. Hug, mug, look out. No, Bob, look out does not rhyme with bug. What rhymes with dog? Hog, log. Fog! Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom! Uh, 
Bob, no. Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Does not rhyme with anything, really. Okay then, but... Run for it!